The shipment and invoice processing functions are separate for security purposes. This way you can restrict a user from accessing either one or the other if you want. You can create a shipment from a single order or consolidate multiple orders into one shipment or invoice. And like shipments, you can create an invoice from a single shipment or from multiple shipments. The shipment entry icon is used to directly enter a shipment and optionally create an invoice. An order does not have to first be created. Therefore, if it is known that a shipment needs to be processed, a shipment can be directly created. However, no item back orders can be entered, generated, or tracked. The shipment entry function can also be used to ship a previously entered order, recall a previously posted shipment, or to make changes to a shipment if the document was created within the shipment screen and not originally entered as an order. Because the majority of the fields are identical to those on the order entry window, they will not all be covered again here. The discussion of the shipment window in this section only covers those fields that are unique to the shipment process. To recall a previously entered shipment, enter or select the shipment number. For new shipments, leave the shipment number at the default of new, unless you want to create a specific shipment number. As with an order, enter a valid customer number or add the customer number on the fly. If a previously entered order is being recalled to generate a shipment, enter or select the order number in the order number field. If an existing order is entered, the drill icon will drill into the specific details of the original order, which may or may not be the same detail lines as shown here if partial shipments against the sales order have already occurred. If two or more existing orders are to be converted to the same shipment number, then click the From Multiple Orders checkbox, similar to the From Multiple Quotes option that was discussed in the Sales Order section earlier. Select the Finder to display the existing orders for the customer. If multiple orders are selected, when the Shipment button is clicked, ACPAC merges each detail line from each sales order selected and lists them one after the other in the details section of the shipment. Then, just like entering a sales order, indicate which item quantities to actually ship by entering a value in the quantity shipped field. Notice that there is a ship all button to instruct the system to ship all the items that are on the order. Even if the ship all button is selected, it doesn't necessarily indicate that all items must be shipped. The actual quantity being shipped for a particular item can be changed to a lesser amount. It really depends on which is faster, initially indicating more detail lines as being shipped than not being shipped, or the other way around. Moving to the right, the price is displayed as entered on the order. The price can be changed or the system can automatically calculate a different price based on the discount methods of the customer. Moving farther to the right, optionally enter any serial numbers used, as well as any comments, as discussed earlier. Again, as with entering orders, any of the other field settings on the pages across the top can be adjusted. Before posting, verify that the values on the total page are accurate, and make sure that taxes and any discounts are being calculated correctly. Click the Post button to post the shipment. The system then prompts to print a packing slip. Let's take a look at invoice entry.